Hello there. A friend of a friend vaguely describes something that they want, and I'm not even sure what it is. I, I think they're not even sure. I think maybe it's just a paperweight. So I've got these two small pieces here. I think I'll probably use the square one for what they want, and maybe the round one. I don't know. We'll see. You might remember this tongue. It's got the pipe handles. Feels like I'm not holding anything. Been using my Vice Guillotine tool a lot, and I already started selling them. I uh, haven't li yet listed it on my website, but if you're interested, just uh, contact me. I want to thank James Dunn for his recent donation to the channel. Uh, your generosity is very much appreciated. Thank you. I feel like I'm making a super mini swage block. This has given me an idea to use that small round piece for another project in another video. I've been using this tool a lot, and I noticed that the business ends of the dies are holding up really well, no deforming there, but the top end of the top die where I strike is mushroomed, and so I need to maybe quench it quicker, or maybe double quench that. Can't avoid some deforming, but I can slow it down a bit. This is one of those end of the day, end of the propane tank sort of projects. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this piece, just something that someone wants. My hole is not very centered, so I take a little bit off of the heavy side.
because this is a piece that doesn't have any real function, so I just kind of fool around with different techniques. Someone might watch this video and they maybe be able to apply some techniques to their own projects. Projects unlike this where they actually know what they're making. So there it is folks, a baby swage block paperweight. Catch you guys next time.